The Philippines issues a note verbal to China protesting their aggressive actions in the Ayungin Shoal on June 17 that injured at least one Filipino soldier. Ria Fernandez with the story. The Philippines has sent out a note verbal to China to protest the intentional ramming of Philippine boats and harassment of Filipino soldiers conducting a resupply mission in Ayungin Shoal on June 17. Foreign Affairs Secretary Enrique Manalo said he also spoke with Chinese Ambassador Wang Silian about the encounter. However, Manalo did not provide details about their conversation. What's clear is that the Philippines will confront China directly about the altercation once officials of the two nations meet in the upcoming bilateral consultation mechanism on the South China Sea, set in July. The National Security Council, meanwhile, refused to comment on these developments for now. They hope, though, that China will be transparent in its dialogue with the Philippines. Prior to this, Manalo faced journalists from over 30 countries in a gathering organized by the East-West Center here at the Philippine International Convention Center or PICC in Pasay City. And according to the Secretary, only faithful implementation of the laws covering the waters will effectively reduce conflict on the West Philippine Sea. Though China has long claimed parts of the West Philippine Sea that fall within their nine-dash line, Secretary Manalo says the Philippines will continue standing for its rights to the territory based on the 2016 arbitral award that invalidated China's claim. But this is not sufficient yes. because we have the side of uh, law on our side. That's why I'm optimistic. No country can claim almost the entirety of the South China Sea as its territory and use such claim to justify illegal and dangerous actions and waters over which we have sovereignty, sovereign rights, and jurisdiction. Manalo also blasted critics who are belittling the Philippines' position in the West Philippine Sea and branding the Philippine government as a puppet of the United States. The secretary says the Philippines is fighting for its own sovereign rights and not America's interests. This reductionist view muddles our understanding of the complex situation on the, on the ground or the sea and detracts from the real crux of the issue. For their part, U.S. Ambassador to the Philippines Mary Kay Carlson says they support the Philippines' position. They also reiterated their call for China to refrain from harassing Filipinos in the disputed territory. As we heard Secretary Manalo said, the, the Philippines has an agenda that stands on its own. As, and as our partner, we support that. They are not a pawn in a great power game, but it is certainly in our interest to ensure that bullying behavior does not go unchecked, that we check that behavior not only for ourselves, but uh, for, for the, the rest of the globe.